hello and welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life as I channel on Miss Enjoy. And this is the Daily Fast Five for Love Relationships. I will pull five cards and see what the overall energy is for you, my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Monday, June 17th. We're going to try to get in and out in about five minutes. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I appreciate you being here. Love you. Mwah. If you have not yet done so, please take this time to like and subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. What it does is help me get to the point where I can do some live chat with you guys and we can answer some questions live and have some spiritual conversation and just get to know each other and it also helps the video to circulate so for, do not, not only do that for me but do that for many up for all the other youtubers that you watch okay awesome thank you all right we're going to go ahead and get into your energy my virgo sun moon rising and venus for monday june 17th okay all right so i'm going to ask spirit gods and goddesses guardian angels and watchers to please be here to deliver a positive message for my virgos for Monday, June 17th. Virgo, Monday, June 17th. Virgo, Monday, spirits, please. Okay, sounds good. All right, first out, we have the four staffs. We have the Three of Staffs. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Two of Staffs. And we got the Emperor card. Oh, Virgo. Get it now. Mm. Mm. You are celebrating, moving on, having successfully moving. Because that's what your energy has been. Whatever collective, like, cause let me tell you how it works. Because I know a lot of you are like, well, how come you say something different than another reader? Or well, some readers resonate with me and some don't. And I don't know what that person is talking about and why we have different messages. We have different messages because we have different collectives. We have different people that are drawn to us to listen to us. Just like if you are of, a, of, a organized, of an organized religion and you go to a church... You go to your church, you listen to your preacher, your preacher, your, your clergy person resonates with you. And it's the same thing for our spiritual advisors and light workers um, and tarot card readers. And um, so if you're my people, my collective, that's who I'm channeling. So that's why we say if, if this is not your message, find your reader. Your reader is out there because there are people that message me and, and comment that I resonate so much with them every time. And it seems like if, when I do these dailies, I'm absolutely loving it because everybody's, I'm not getting, when I do like my bi-weeklies, for, I'm just going to run a little long. When I do my bi-weeklies, I, um, I get different energies and completely different stories almost every week. Some continue on or a continuance of something past, but most of these dailies have been a continuing constant story and that's what i want that's what i want i want to nurture a collective on a specific path i want my specific you know people to watch me okay and my virgos that are watching me my collective of virgos you guys are doing wonderful we've been talking about fear and i like that because then we can we can like counsel from day to day i can tell you that you're progressing and i can see in your cards that you're progressing and um I like that. And then I can constantly advise, advise on the situation. Because as this, my title says, Miss Enjoy Spiritual Advisor, I'm not just a tarot card reader. Some people are, but I am not. Some people don't give advice, but I indeed do. Some people won't talk to you and counsel with you, but I indeed will. If you were in to inbox me and you really needed someone, I'm there. Okay? I'm not going to be... You, my collective weighs on my conscience. I'm not going to be responsible or feel horrible if someone needed someone to talk to in a moment that could save their life. And I did not talk to that person. Okay? All right. So, um, Virgos, that being said, you deserve a few extra minutes this, 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 this day. Especially because it's a Monday and you got all these bright, beautiful cards. And pull that off on a Monday. Okay? <laughs> um, you're doing great. You're moving with, with the four staffs. That's celebration, okay? You're celebrating today. You're feeling good. You woke up on the right side of the bed. You're waking up on the right side of the bed like, hey, you're in the ground, running. You are moving because you're celebrating because you're moving away with the three staffs. 
You're getting out of that. Oh, shit. You're letting it go. Now, we've been talking about healing. We've been talking about maybe getting in your, your, your comfort zone, letting some people in, meeting some new people, doing some new things, trusting, learning to trust again, learning to love again, learning to know that it's okay. And that past situation is over and how to try not to take it forward with you. And you're doing that. You're doing that here with the Knight of Cups. It's a brand new way that you're looking at love and possibly a brand new offer in love or many because that's what I've been seeing in your cards. You're stressing because you got so many people coming at you. Like I said, going back again because it's been the same storyline for you guys and I love that. Um, you've come from a place where you stopped with the love shit and just said, let me get me together. And that's what you've done. You've loved yourself. You've nurtured yourself. You've grown in self. And when you do that, when you stand in that power and you're showing up here as the emperor card. So you're definitely standing in that power and you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. <clears throat> you're definitely, um, move, you're, you're definitely standing in your power and making the right decisions, loving yourself, and all these people are coming out of the woodworks, and that's what happened, like I've been saying, Virgos, that's very sexy, if you go back, if you're a first time watcher in my Virgos for my dailies, go back, it's a progression, for you guys especially, I like your readings, um, go back, watch it, it's a progression, um, it will do you some justice to go back and watch all the dailies for Virgo. Because the message has, like I said, been ongoing with you guys. Your situation is ongoing. I don't know who I'm pulling for, but I'm glad that you're here. Your your growth has been very inspiring. You came from a place of, I'm done with love. I'm going to nourish myself. And you did that. And you got your shit together. And you got your business together. And you're handling your life. And that's sexy. That's sexy to other people. And that's going to bring in more people that stand in that emperor power with you unlike whatever that shit was that you were in, in in the past that you moved away from and you got out of okay and you bettered yourself from you didn't that's that that's real emperor power when you did you went through some shit and you didn't let it take you down all right you're not letting it take you down you're fighting you're battling get out of that fear that's all i saw that i've been seeing that you need to do be a, don't be afraid of all these new people coming at you because you standing in your emperor power is sexy and with the two of staffs here i'm getting that you still kind of iffy and don't know what to do about it you're at a crossroads here you got two staffs two directions to take and you don't know which one is going to help you move forward quicker but chill okay chill continue to do you continue to stand in your power and let the divine guide you let the divine guide you don't be afraid though when it's time to go go like e40 said tell me when to go go when spirit says go don't don't let it block you don't let the past block you but i see that you're not i see that you're going to successfully move forward and you may get a little scared here or there you know Especially as you may meet someone and you may get to know someone or you may, you know, that you may start developing some, th some feelings. You may get scared. I'm not saying it and that's natural because you've been hurt. You know, the burned child raids the fire. So, you know, you, 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 that's completely understandable. But you have to be strong enough and Virgo, you are strong enough to overcome that. We are going to pull your over, but it's all right. <laughs> We're going to pull because I love y'all, Virgos. We're going to pull Moonology Oracle Advice cards for you. And then that's it. We're going to let you go be on with your day, okay? Don't let your past hold you back. You're doing that. Adjustments are required, okay? So it's just still, like I said, keep working on it. It's going to get better. It gets better every day because prosperity lies ahead, all right? That's what your cards say. That's the oracle advice. And it doesn't get any better, Virgo. Awesome. You're doing great. One foot in front of the other. One day at a time. One situation at a time. But otherwise, you know you're good. You know you're standing in your power. And keep doing that. And I hate to say it. As long as you're doing that, the right one, the right person will indeed show up at that time. When it's right. And don't be afraid when they do. Or try not to. Try not to. Little fear is natural, but try not to. Trust and believe in yourself and your divine. All right? I love you guys. I'll talk to you again Tuesday. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.